In this video, we're gonna look at different types of liabilities, but before categorizing them, let's define what liabilities is, or are, right? There are multiple different types of liabilities. Liability is what you owe to somebody, uh, could be a bank, most of the time it is a bank or financial organization, or it could be uh, your neighbor, could be a relative, um, doesn't change the fact that you owe the money. Typical uh, debt uh, in the United States, at least, consists of uh, credit card debt, um, where people uh, borrow money on credit cards and carry over a balance. So in our example, what we're looking on the screen, uh, this is the first category. Typically the most unfavorable, and I'll explain in a second why it is unfavorable. And in this example, we have a Chase credit card in the amount of 2350 um, the loans, um, typically uh, either personal loan, uh, that's unsecured loan, uh, unsecured by anything, and typically with the higher percentage rate, high, you pay higher interest, or automobile loan, this is the loan that's secured by um, the actual vehicle. And that's typically uh, given to you by bank, uh, so you can... Uh, purchase a new vehicle or used vehicle uh, but without necessarily paying the entire amount of money during a transaction and mortgage is typically a, a house or rental property or condo or any type of real estate um, where you buy uh, over a long uh, term and repay over a long term now I promised you that I am going to explain why this uh, debt is listed in terms of favorability and the credit card is the most unfavorable then second are the loans and then the mortgage uh, is the most favorable there's also a category i'm going to add here which is called the student loan right and let's just say that this would be typically twenty three thousand dollars that's what we're going to have and we're going to use the uh, dollar sign to indicate that this is a dollar amount now credit card I already mentioned very high interest rate uh, typically more than 20% annually this is extremely high that's why it is the most unfavorable so credit cards uh, if you can pay them off faster than anything else because of the high interest rate uh, automobile loan uh, depending what kind of car did you buy um, it's a little bit lower for the new cars a little bit higher rate for the used vehicles uh, but typically the percentage rate uh, is three percent for new vehicles you can get even better financing if you have a good uh, credit score and if you're um, uh, financed by the um, vendor themselves maybe a manufacturer like uh, Chevy or Toyota or Honda they're sponsoring and you can get 1% loan or maybe even 0% APR. You basically will be just repaying what you owe. Those are pretty good deals. Uh, personal loan, I already mentioned unsecured, typically 5 to 7 to 9%. And student loan, I think, is pretty fixed. If you're borrowing from the government, that's about 6.5%. If you're borrowing from the private organization, uh, it depends, really. And mortgage obviously all of these rates are varying but i'm just giving you an average an average 30-year uh, mortgage is uh, for five percent student loan is typically given you for 20 years um, personal loan five to seven years automobile loan typically five to seven years and then credit card uh, you don't really have a repayment period because you go and make additional purchases every month so it's they give you minimum payment, uh, but that's calculated over a substantial period of time and different companies use different formulas. So, as I already mentioned, let's recap. Uh, the most unfavorable debt is credit card debt because it's the highest percentage rate. Loans, secured loans, typically better. Student loans are tax deductible, so would be second favorable category. Personal loans, um, they're higher rate and they're quite unfavorable. And house um, or any other real estate mortgage typically uh, over a long period of time also tax deductible 
um, which is a good thing. And what we see in Excel here, we're tracking liabilities and we're calculating total liabilities because what we want to do in our next video is to create a balance sheet. Thanks for watching. Make sure to review the description to this video as it contains the link to the downloads. If you have an opportunity, please leave a review. I read them all and always on the lookout to improve. Here are some opportunities for us to stay in touch. Just click on the links flashing on the screen to sign up for my channel or email list. Or maybe both. Take care.